How's it going guys? Today I'll be comparing the Pixel 6 versus the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE. Alright, this is the microphone test, testing 1212. This is how it sounds like on a Pixel 6. Testing 1212. This is how it sounds like on a Galaxy S21 FE. Alright, one more test, and this time the Pixel 6 does have speech enhancement on. So testing 1212. This is how it sounds like on a Pixel 6. Okay, today I'll be doing a quick grocery run, and then after I'm going to this place called China for lunch. I've never been there before, but it looks like they serve um, authentic Chinese food, but in a fast food setting. ultra wide angle from the pixel is not the widest out of all the phones i've used i would say it is wide enough but in my personal preference i wish it was a little bit wider now switching it to the samsung phone you can tell that there's a big difference for vlogging wise i do prefer this shot or this ultra wide shot because i'm not all in your face which i don't really want that and of course i don't think you guys want that either See in the forest, for the trees i'm keeping watch all the just finished with the groceries, gonna walk to lunch now, and let's move on to portrait mode. Apparently there's no space to eat inside so I'm gonna head home instead but before that let's move on to the telephoto comparison and I know the pixel doesn't have a telephoto lens so it's gonna be the digital zoom versus the optical zoom on S21 FE Alright, here are my final thoughts using these two phones side by side today. Starting off with the UI, I would say the Pixel is just slightly easier to use and more simple. I like on a Pixel how you can just swipe down on the screen and you have access to your timer, flash, and even more settings. Whereas on a Samsung, all the settings are on top and I would have to move the whole phone down because I have smaller hands and, or I would just have to use a second hand. 
On a Samsung, you can swipe up or down to switch between your front and back camera, which is nice and is, is a really quick access, but it does get annoying or frustrating when you're trying to switch camera modes instead and you keep accidentally swiping up. Especially when you're outside in the cold for so long and you can barely feel your fingers, that swipe up feature is gonna be super annoying. And I say Pixel is just more simple and minimal just because it offers a lot less modes, whereas on the Samsung, they give you a lot of different ones. For portrait mode, the S21 FE does have a 3X, which is great, and I do like the compression of the background, but I noticed that those pictures on the 3X, they tend to come out pretty blurry, not super clear. So even I do like the overall look, I would rather have a sharper image and just staying in 1X. On the Pixel, I do like how they have their own separate motion mode, which creates these low shutter speed shots, which looks pretty cool and easy, easy to do on bigger cameras, but you can now do it on your phone. I feel like the motion mode is something I would want to use, whereas on the Samsung, they offer so many modes where I don't really think I would want to use them on the everyday occasion or whenever that occasion comes up. But it is nice to have so many modes that just in case if you need it, you have it. For performance, they are so similar, especially during daytime, you can barely tell which one is faster or slower. During nighttime, I would say the Pixel is just slightly faster. You can't really tell, especially when you don't have them side by side together, but that's just what I experienced. When you're using the selfie camera in low light, the whole viewfinder or screen does tend to look super blurry or have that low shutter speed look, whereas on the Pixel, it's, it looks very sharp and more responsive. And that is the biggest difference from what I noticed, but everywhere else on the camera, very similar. The last thing to mention is the price. The Samsung S21 FE is hundred bucks more. And I would say the biggest difference or the biggest thing you're paying for for the extra hundred is the telephoto lens. And also if it really matters to you, the wider ultra wide. But in my opinion, I think the pricing and the timing of the S21 FE is not the best. The Galaxy S22 is coming out next month, so I would wait and see what that has to offer and where that price point is, because if it's only like 100 bucks more, I would rather pay for that S22 rather than the S21 FE. So let me know what you guys think about these two phones and which one you prefer. If you wanna see more comparisons with the S21 FE, make sure to come back and I'll do more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.